example four. Let a equal the vector negative one, one, six, and b equal the vector one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, these are three vectors. There are points in three space. Okay, the vector a minus b is equal to, <coughs> I'm gonna write all of this out explicitly so you see it, one, six, minus the vector one, two, three. Well, that equals negative one minus one, minus two, one minus two, which is minus one, six minus three, which is three. That gives us the point negative two, negative one, three. The vector negative two, negative one, three, that's the vector a minus b. Okay, now since that is the vector a minus b based on the definition that we just wrote, let's dot this with itself. <coughs> a minus b dot a minus b dot product with itself, that's equal to, again, I'm gonna write this out explicitly, minus two, minus one, three, dot minus two, minus one, three, that's equal to minus two times minus two is four, minus one times minus one is one, three times three is nine, square root, four, uh, nine, 10, 14, so we end up with radical 14, therefore, the norm of a minus b is equal to radical 14. In other words, the distance between the vector a and the vector b is radical 14. The distance between the point that a represents and b, and the point b that b represents is a distance of 14. Now, believe it or not, this is, the formula that I just gave you, is a generalization of the distance formula in any number of dimensions expressed in terms of vectors. Again, trust the definition. <clears throat> Hopefully the geometry, uh, the geometric interpretation that we gives you, that we gave you, helps a little bit, and it's fine to go ahead and use that geometric intuition um, at this point. Think about it, look at it, if you want, break it up into components, write everything out until you're comfortable with this notion. Um, but again, it's just a straight application of basic algebra. The norm is this, and the distance between two points is the norm. It, it is a norm because that's what a norm is. It is a distance. You have that definition. Okay, so we've introduced scalar product. We've introduced norm. We'll go ahead and stop here for today, and next time we'll continue on with more vectors. Thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.